Are you wondering if your Rotap isn't performing as well as it could? And if so, what do you do about it? Don't worry, I'll explain everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi there, I'm Candice, and I'm the Product Manager for Particle Analysis at WS Tyler. As with any device that uses several moving parts, various elements of the Rotap may shift or displace from their original position. This, in turn, may affect performance, and more importantly, your test results. So how should you test your Rotap to ensure it maintains the quality performance that you depend on? WS Tyler established the Rotap product line in 1914 and has the know-how needed to help your device perform as intended for years to come. And to do that, we'll go over whether or not you need to calibrate your Rotap, how to test the performance of your Rotap, and the importance of doing this. There are no standards documented that dictate the performance of either the RX29 or the RX30. So when lab technicians ask us if they should calibrate their device, or how do they calibrate, or if we can calibrate their device, we explain that there are no standards to calibrate it to. There are, however, performance specifications that provide insight into the intended performance of these mechanical sieve shakers. These specs include, the RX29 will oscillate 278 times per minute, the five pound six ounce hammer will tap 150 times per minute, and the motor runs at 1725 RPMs. Of all those performance specifications, the number of oscillations and hammer taps are easily testable. In fact, they're simple mathematical equations that you can use to test a Rotap's performance in-house. To test the amount of oscillations per minute, count the oscillations of the device for 10 seconds and then multiply that count by six. Testing the hammer taps per minute is very similar. Simply count the amount of hammer taps that occur in 10 seconds and multiply that number by six. And if you want to test the RPMs of the device, Start by placing a piece of reflective tape at the bottom of your Rotap. You'll then want to run the device while pointing a tachometer at the reflective tape. The tachometer will measure how much the device moves in a minute and verify the motor's RPMs. But I should note, there are dozens of mechanical sieve shakers on the market. The performance will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. If you fail to conduct maintenance based on performance testing, you'll find your device isn't working as intended over time. This will eventually result in inconsistent and unreliable sieve analysis data that will deviate progressively. Now, as most performance issues can be traced back to a specific part, failure to test the performance of your device will make it hard to identify and replace worn parts. Using worn parts for prolonged periods of time will cause the whole tower to move around. This, in turn, will cause other parts within the device to wear down at an accelerated rate. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific requests. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Candice and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.